In today's video, I'll be showing you how to set an alarm on your Samsung Galaxy A24. So first, open the clock app, and then in your clock app, select alarm. So as you can see, I already have one alarm and it's turned on. So to add another one, just tap on the plus icon up top, and then use this to set when your alarm should ring. So you can use it to set whatever time you'd like in the morning or in the afternoon or even at night so i'd like mine to be set at 8 a.m and then use this to choose the days you want the alarm to ring so it can be monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday you can even have it set to the whole week if you'd like by tapping on all the days and then you can also rename your alarm so once you've done that and then you can also have an alarm sound so if you don't want an alarm if you don't want an alarm sound just tap on the toggle to turn it off if you do leave the toggle turned on and then tap on the option alarm sound and use either the ringtone or a spotify song to as an alarm so you can go to spotify choose a song And then use the slider to increase or decrease how loud you want your alarm to be. So you just use the slider to decrease or increase and you'll be brought a preview. When you're happy with how that sounds, you can go to the vibration section and you can choose to have a vibration or to not have a vibration. So if you want a vibration, just tap on the option and then select one of the many vibrations available on your device. Then you can go back and have it, and you can set a snooze timer. So you can have it set to 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, or you can customize it. So you can have it ring your alarm come back every two minutes when you've set it to snooze. And then you can have it repeat three times, five times, or forever. So let me set it to five times, and then you can go back. When you're happy with how your alarm is or how it looks like, just tap on save. And as you can see, I now have my new alarm added to my alarm list. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and we'll get back to you.